annotating data is time consuming. So I'm gonna walk you through how you can use a workflow to label with you and a team member or multiple team members. Joseph from RoboFlow, and today we're gonna use RoboFlow to set it up such that you can share a data set with different team members, have them label different portions of that data set, and then merge it all back into one single data set you can then use for model training. Okay, so for starters, the data set that we're gonna be using is, you might have guessed it, chess piece images. So I have a bunch of chess images here, and what I would want to do is label these individual images for object detection. So creating bounding boxes. Now, first things first, I first need to make sure that I have a team in RoboFlow. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to set up creating my team, then we're going to upload a data set into two different pieces because I'm gonna label part of it, and then I'm gonna say a team member named Brad is gonna label the other part of it. Then after we've both labeled our respective parts of the data set, we're gonna merge those data sets together into one final data set we can use for model training. Okay, so to create a team in RoboFlow, all I need to do here is click invite team member. And then with my invite invitation here, um, so I'll just say, I'll just pretend and say YouTube at RoboFlow.ai. Um, with this invitation, my invite gets sent to that other member of my team. Now, the next thing that I need to do is create an example uh, data set where I have images that I, Joseph, am going to label, and then some images that my coworker, Brad, is going to label. And so that's as simple here as creating a data set, and critically, I'm going to name the data set, the name of the data set hyphen my name. So I know that's my part of the overall data set. So I'll call this chess pieces Joseph, and then I'll call the annotation group pieces. I'll create that data set. And then from here, I need to actually go in and add in half of my images. So here I actually have uh, 20 images. So I'm just gonna grab you know the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 of those, and drop those into RoboFlow. I'm just gonna go ahead and upload those without labels so that those exist on my RoboFlow dashboard. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is add another data set, but this time I'm gonna add the next 10 images, so these bottom 10. And critically, I'm gonna do that in my another data set. So I have chess pieces Joseph with 10 images that are not yet labeled. I'm gonna create another data set called chess pieces Brad, annotation group pieces, create this data set, grab the next 10 images, drop those into RoboFlow, have them be processed, and finish the upload. Now, I've created two data sets in RoboFlow where I will then label my images that are called chess pieces Joseph. Brad on my team will label the other ones, but not so fast. Neither of these data sets are shared with my team. So I need to go into the data sets here so that my coworkers can see. So I click this data set, I click team sharing, and then I'm gonna share with YouTube example team. So that's the team I'm gonna be labeling with. So I'll share that first data set, and then I'm gonna share my second data set too. Team sharing, share with YouTube example team. Okay, my changes are saved. Now anyone on my YouTube example team, in this case, Brad, can see both of these data sets. I'm gonna label my images in my portion of the data set, and Brad will label his images in his portion of the data set, and then we'll merge them all together. Now, I'm just gonna pretend label one image here just as an example. I'll call that white pawn. And we can pretend you know, that I've zipped through and labeled all of my images, and that Brad has zipped through and labeled all of his images. Now, at this point, we would have two disparate data sets that we then can merge into one final data set that we can use for model building. So, once I have both of these labeled, once Brad and I have done our labeling, I would check both these boxes, and you'll see in the upper right hand corner, I have the ability to merge these data sets. So I'm gonna click Merge Data Sets, and we're gonna call this Chess Merged. I'll merge those two data sets. And then there we go. Now I have Chess Pieces Joseph, the ones that I labeled, Chess Pieces Brad, the one that Brad labeled, and then Chess Merged, which will be all of our combined labeled. Now, of course, I only labeled my portion here and only label, added one label at that to this image. But if we had both labeled our respective portions, we would have our final data set here that we could then use to go about 
preparing and getting ready for training. So that's the example workflow. Step one, invite your team members. Step two, upload images into each of the respective pieces of the data set. Step three, share those data sets with your team members. Step four, team members label. And then step five, merge it all back together into one final data set. Be sure to like and subscribe to the RoboFlow YouTube channel for more tutorials, how-tos, and content like this. Thanks.